there are many cases where a deeper analysis of a particular area is required. Foundations are a great example where we want to minimize weight while still providing adequate support. In these cases, information will be captured from the product model and fed into the analysis software. Once the analysis is performed, we will append the results to the virtual foundation and create an engineering change order to execute the changes. The shipyard requires all equipment with a weight over 200 kilograms have a calculation and accompanying report to ensure compliant installation on the ship. We will quickly sort through our master list of equipment and find those items that weigh more than 200 kilograms. Aside from the propulsion system, the electrical transformers are some of the heaviest parts on the ship. Within the product model, we find the transformer positioned on the ship. For our analysis, the equipment, foundation, and surrounding structure will all need to be considered. For a task like this, the required information is quickly captured from the common product model in the format required. We rapidly narrow our search down to just the information required. The transformer itself and the surrounding structure including the deck and both transverse and longitudinal bulkheads. Once we have the selection, we instruct the system to provide what we need. In this case, a 3D model of the selection and the required part and material properties. Here in Altair Hyperworks, the geometry and associated metadata is loaded. Once the surfaces are ready, the structure is meshed and the shell thickness visualized from our product model. The transformer's center of gravity positioned, load distribution translated through the proposed foundation, and load steps added. Here we see how the transformer performs under the different load conditions. To optimize the design and reduce the weight on the ship, the gauge optimizer shows that by reducing the plate from 10 mm to between 4 and 8 mm, we can reduce weight by 38%. Once completed, a report with the recommended changes is generated. As a baseline of this area has already been released, an engineering change order or ECO is required to execute the change. To complete the ECO, the affected parts are linked. In this case, we will ensure the transformer and the report containing the recommended changes are attached. When the ECO gets to the design team, it is in the form of tasks which will capture the changes made. For this ECO, the work is broken out into two tasks. The first task to update the model and the second task to update the impacted production documentation. As the design team makes the changes, each step is recorded against a task all the way down to the level of specific parts. Once completed, the changes made are reviewed. Here we see the original foundation compared to the new. The example we've gone through covers the process from a foundation design. Following a similar approach, we will also perform much larger scale calculations including lifting and turning or global fatigue assessment. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.